Seven is your name, but Seven is also the running thread in your career. There was seven songs on Chris Brown's Fame album. Oh wow, that's crazy. I didn't even I didn't even put that together. Yeah. Okay, that's the. We do our homework around. Here. You do. Right. <laughs> so please describe the writing process when you're working specifically with Chris. I mean, our writing process. First of all, we just have a we have a blast. We have a really good time. Um, the way that it normally goes, we'll pull up a beat. I'll go in and lay some melodies, and a lot of times it sounds like a bunch of mumbling. Or he'll go in and it sounds like a bunch of mumbling. We'll come out and we'll just we'll throw words at each other. You know what I mean? And we just kind of build a song as we go. Um, that was a, me working with him. That was the first time that I ever really worked like that. So I actually I learned a lot from him. You know, from working with him like that. So I was able to kind of carry those things over into you know my own EP and my own sessions and things like that. But working with him, it's just. It's great. We have a really great time, and we just clown the whole time. And I just I pick up little little gems and jewels along right. the way from him. So now, has that affected when you write without him? When you're writing on records like for Ariana Grande, for you know Alicia Keys, are you writing in the same way now, or is it like a, a mixture of both? Of you know, what? I, I think over the years I've learned a little bit, but I definitely there are little tricks that I learned from him that I definitely I carry into just my writing, you know, in general, or even just me being an artist in general. Um, for example, just with me and my, my personal artistry, um, Chris has this thing where he won't let me get a take over and over and over and over and over again. So when I go into my own sessions now, we have this three time rule that he gave me. So if I don't get the take in three times, we have to keep what we got, the best what we got, and we move on. And it helps me because I will literally, I'll stay there like forever and try to get it over and over again. So Word. I take that with me. One of my favorite parts of like being in the session with you guys was like the spontaneity of it. It was like, you know, five, six, ten o'clock in the morning sometimes. And if he wasn't <laughs> over, you just, all right, let's go. And everyone was still on. Mind you, we've been there for maybe 10 hours yeah. at that point. Absolutely. And it's also like, you know, I remember a lot of the times, um, when you know he would be recording for his stuff or, or it would just be a mix of you know whatever whatever mm -hmm. and then he'd be like seven go in and you didn't even know you know you were I didn't needed know. Yeah. <laughs> and then you would jump right in yeah I, I, you know the thing is too working with Chris he 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 has you know obviously he has his ideas but he gives you a lot of freedom so you know like you said he will say okay we need like some backs for this part just go in and do whatever and I'm like Really? He's like, okay, so I'll go in there and just, you know, sing and add harmonies and add bats and octaves. And if I want to scream on a track and say, ah, he's going to let me scream on a track. And so that, that's just fun. And you're right. It's just kind of just, you know, we're just off the top and we just go in there, we play around and we just, we have a good time. I just didn't want to pass up that opportunity. You know what I mean? Like, I can go to 10 trillion clubs. Clubs ain't going nowhere, but. I need that placement. I really right. want that. I wanted the placement and I want him to be proud. You know, right. it's, it's I look at I look up to him in so many ways. So a lot of times, yeah, we'd be in sessions. Um, that actually happened with yeah three times. I don't I think you were, were yes, there. Tell that. Um we wrote the whole beginning of the song, the hook, first verse and all of it, and everybody, you know, went out and I was like, Yeah, so I'm gonna stay. He's like, Yeah, yeah, just stay, you know, write the second verse and we we're good. When I come back, we good. I was like, all right, cool. He, I don't even think he knows. I literally wrote that verse 10 trillion times. <laughs> 10 trillion million times just because, you know, I was, I felt like it was like my first time kind of really being like, you know, tested and okay, like I really want to do well. And I swear, right before he came back in, me and Brian, Brian was like, okay, Seb, I think that's it. I was like, you think that's it? I was like, you like it? Okay, all right, cool. He came in and he heard it and he loved it. And so every time I hear that song, and it was my first placement ever, I never had a placement. So every time I hear that song, it just, it will always have a special place in my heart, that record. Word.